Hi everyone, my name is Thiago Passos, as you may know, uh, and today I'm going to talk about using a config file after the build of our Angular CLI application. And the reason I'm going to talk about it is um, just to give you a bit of background. Uh, I've got a, a CI pipeline, I'm using TeamCD for my, for, for my uh, project. Um, so I build my application and I push to Octave Deploy, which is going to be responsible for deploying that application. So what I want to achieve is basically, um, I want to build my application once. So basically ng build dash dash prod, and then uh, push to Octave Deploy, and Octave Deploy will change a few settings, for example, the URL for the server uh, side application, right? So for the endpoints and, and things like that. So I'm going to have multiple environments for the backend as well, okay? Um, so there you go. So that's what I want. And I thought, all right, so that, that must be pretty easy, okay? So I'm going to create a config file, and I'm going to put in my assets folder in the Angular CLI project. I'm going to build, um, and that's it. I'm going to get my config file somehow, and then update the settings using Octopus, right? Um, it's not that simple. And this video is to show you how I achieved that. So let's have a look. Okay, so just to get started, I'm going to create a brand new Angular CL application. All right, so I'm gonna go and engineer uh, Angular with config file. Okay, so now I have my brand new Angular application. So I'm gonna go into the folder now. Angular with config file, and I'm gonna run the application just to see how it goes. All right, my application is now running, so I can go to localhost 4200, and there you go. I've got my new application here. All right, so I wrote a blog post just covering all the steps that I need to do. Um, it's on passwords.com.au if you wanna check it out. Um, so I'm going to copy a few things here so you know how it works. All right, first of all, I'm going to create, I'm going to open that um, in Fusion Code. All right. So in my source folder, assets, I'm going to create a config.json file. Okay. And I'm going to create... API URL and that's going to be APS localhost um, 444. That's just an example. All right, so saving that. If I build now, I'm just going to do a ng build dash dash prod. So it's going to create a this folder. And you, you can see that the config file will be in the assets folder, and that's what I need. Okay, so switching back to Visual Studio Code, I've got my disk folder here, I've got my assets, and there you go, my config.json is there. So that's what I want. Cool. Now I need to be able to uh, read the application as soon as it's bootstrapped. Okay, so if we have a look at uh, my app folder and my module, what I want, wanna, what I want to do is uh, inject that configuration into the application so I can use anyway. All right. So let's have a look here. All right. So first thing I need to do is I need to create a service. Okay. Uh, and I'm I'm going to create a service so uh, so I can inject that uh, into my application. So I've got this service here. I'm just going to copy the whole service. And I'm going to put in a service folder and I'm going to call it config.ts. All right. So let me just bring some stuff here. Injectable. One, two, need. Okay, 
right? I've got my service, and all this service is going to do is I've got a load JSON um, method, which is going to pass the config file path to this load text file Ajax sync. So it's going to pass that uh, together with the content type, and then it's going to use the default JavaScript uh, XML HTTP request to request that JSON file. Okay. All right. So now that I have my config service, I have to um, add this as a provider of my application. So let's import that. So I'm going to get from services config config service. So I'm going to add that as a provider. Okay. So something else that I need to add here as well is the HP uh, module. So I can use that um, in the config service. Right, so let's save that. So that should be funny. OK. So my application is still running. All right, so now just to test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject that config service into my component so I can print the config file into the UI. All right, so let's go to, add, to the app component. I'm going to bring that services config. All right. So now I'm going, I'm going to inject that here. Okay, private config service service config service. All right. I'm just going to create a config variable here, and what I'm going to do is the this dot config equal config service load JSON and I'm going to load that from my assets folder. Alright. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna ditch all of those and I'm going to print my config uh, variable here. So if everything went well I should see something coming up here. All right, so the config service is working, okay? But that's not the way I want it to work, right? So I could work, I could make it work this way. So if I had multiple services um, that I create manually, I could just bring this config service in and use the a API URL as the base URL for any of the calls I make, right? And that would be it uh, if I wanted this way. But in fact, what I'm what I'm using is I'm using a um, generated service using nSwag. If you haven't used nSwag before, just check it out. It's amazing uh, how it does. But that's not the point here. What I want to do is I want to inject that um, API URL as the injection itself. I don't want to have to inject the config service every time, and I want this injection to happen in the Bootstrap itself. Okay, so let's have a look. So if we go back to, to my blog post here, so I added this, and the next thing I need to do is I want to create this provide, okay? And this provide is gonna call API base URL, and that's the default name for the NSWAG service. Um, you can call it differently if you want, um, but that, that's how it works. Okay, so let's get back to the config service. And what I want to do there is I want to export a variable so I can use that um, as the as the injection. All right. So let me add this injection token. Uh, and then anytime I use this API base URL, it's gonna bring this uh, injection here. Okay. But let's configure that first. So I'm going to go to my app module, and what I want to do here, I'm going to bring that uh, API base URL, 
And what I want to do is I want to create another provider here. Okay. Uh, provide, and that's going to be my API base URL. And what I could do here is use the value if I wanted and use this HP local host 555. I'm just setting a, a different URL just so you can see the difference. Huh? I'm injecting this and let's go back to the app component and use this to see if it works. Okay, so I'm going to my app component now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the API base URL. All right, so now that I'm bringing the API base URL, I'm just going to inject here. So let me just bring inject API base URL base URL. That's it. So it's going to be a string. All right. So I'm going to create another variable here called base URL and I'm going to set this base URL equals base URL. Okay, so in my app component now, I'm going to have two things, the config and the base URL. So if I save everything, it should build fine. And now I'm going to have two things injected. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to bring the base URL in here, but from the config file. Okay, so that's the challenge. So let's go back there. And what I need to do here now is I need to update this line here. So instead of using the use value, I'm going to use a factory. All right. And how does that work? So let's go back to my blog and see how it's how it's telling us to do. I've got this function called config factory. Okay, so I'm gonna pass the config service as a dependency, um, the file that's the path, and the variable I want to to bring in. Okay, so let's copy this config factory. I'm gonna put this in the config file all right so basically it's bringing the config service in um, also the file so it's getting the load JSON from the file and getting the property that's it okay so in here what I'm gonna do is instead of using value I'm gonna use factory and I'm going to use now the config factory. Okay. So the config factory expects three parameters. One of them is the config service itself. And the other two are one is the um, config JSON, config.json uh, file path, and the variable I want to bring in. Okay. So I'm going to add some dependencies here. Okay. The first one is going to be the config service itself. All right, easy. The next one is going to be one is the config.json. Just bear with me for a sec. And the API or base API um, variable, just to be clear. All right, so these two here, they need to be a kind of a service to make it work. All right, um, that's kind of a workaround. I couldn't find any way to pass just a string straight away here. Um, so it's going to treat that as a service. OK, so I haven't found a way to inject this string directly here. So I have to create a sort of a service to pass this string. OK, so what I'm going to do here is provide and the name of the, ser the service will be config.json use value and that's going to be the path and the other one will be the variable so the path here will be assets 
config.json and the base API variable will be let me just bring the config.json will be API API URL okay hope that makes sense so when this API base URL is injected it's going to use this factory which is a config factory it's going to use a config service um, injected and it's going to pass two variables the config json uh, path and the base api variable which is the api url okay cool so if i save everything and i go back to my page if everything worked well now i have the two coming from the same place Okay, so I can basically remove that because I don't, I don't need that, that anymore. And now I'm injecting that everywhere. So NSwag is going to get this API base URL automatically. So you don't need to do anything else. So once you have that generated service with NSwag, you can just use it. All right. All right, so that's it. Now, what you need to do is once you push to Octopus, you can just um, tell Octopus to update the API URL as you want, okay, based on uh, on the environment you're going to deploy to, and that's it, and be happy. Cool. Thanks for watching. Cheers.